Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. And gentlemen, remove your caps as we pledge allegiance to our nation's flag. And please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last beaming whose broad stripes in bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we seated. Good evening. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Cahola Creek High School, I would like to welcome you to tonight's ceremony honoring our graduating class of 2020. It is my pleasure to stand before you this evening and to share in this unique and very special occasion. As we begin, I first want to thank those in attendance who served as essential workers on the front lines of their chosen fields. While many of us were quarantined and safe at home, you bravely continued to serve others and earn the title of hero. It was your hard work and dedication that led the way through the difficult times of uncertainty and challenge. I also want to thank our superintendent, Dr. Judy Gilry, and our school board members for their leadership and guidance as we remain focused together through another successful school year. Their support for the students and staff of Whitfield County Schools is appreciated and valued. And we, we have a board member in attendance with us tonight. Mr. Jamie Johnson is here. To our parents, grandparents, and other family members of Colt Nation, thank you for the love, guidance, and support you have provided your child as they have grown into the young men and women seated before you tonight. They would not be here without you. You have walked this journey with them and been through the good, the bad, and everything in between. CCHS is fortunate to have such great support from our families and community. I definitely want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the teachers and staff members of Cahulla Creek High School. We are fortunate to have the best teachers and staff who love, encourage, and support our students in so many ways that go beyond just the academics. As things began to change and we headed into doing school at home, each of you rose to the challenge and responded to the needs of our students. There are countless stories of our teachers, counselors, and other staff members reaching out to our students to ensure they had the things we needed, that they needed, not only to complete assignments, but other essential items as well. They made home visits, phone calls, and held virtual meetings so they could see their students and know that they were okay. It became very evident that we needed them as much as they needed us. To our seniors, 
the class of 2020, I want you to know that I am so proud of each one of you. Thank you for inspiring me. This group has a different story to tell. When you hear 2020, you sometimes think of having 2020 vision. In fact, our yearbook this year, which is dedicated to Miss Laura Yeager, is titled 2020 Vision. As I shared on the opening page, 2020 vision is about seeing with clarity. Well, there was nothing clear about the ending of your senior year. None of us knew what was going to happen, nor could we predict what the end of our school year would look like. We were closed down on March 13th and forced to do school in a totally different way. Teachers were teaching and you were studying from your bedrooms, the kitchen tables, some from the front porch and any other area that could be found that would allow you the time and space to complete the assigned work. As time progressed, we held on desperately to the hope of being able to get back together to have some sort of closure to your high school experience. Unfortunately, that did not happen. We all missed out on so much these past few months, but it affected you the most. You missed senior athletic seasons of spring sports, prom, field day, the senior walk, and other opportunities of just being together to celebrate the experiences of being a senior. And on April 3rd, we got the news that one of your classmates lost his courageous battle with cancer. After fighting so hard for three years, Garrett Rowland passed away at home, surrounded by his loving family. Those of you closest to him know how hard he fought and that he never gave up. Garrett will certainly be missed, and we know he is here with us tonight. The empty chair is to honor his memory and I'm sure he is looking down on us this evening saying, we did it. Despite all that is part of your story, it is crystal clear that this class is an inspiration to us all as you have faced the challenges and difficult times and came out better as young men and young women. You did not allow the circumstances to determine the outcome. It is with 2020 vision that I can see how each of you have lived up to and exemplified our cult's motto of being committed, optimistic leaders who are trustworthy and strong. Each of you remain committed to finishing this school year and getting to graduate through resilience and dedication. Being resilient is the ability to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. Commitment and resiliency are an important part of growth and change. Each of you chose not to allow this to slow you down or get in the way of, of accomplishing your goal of graduating high school. You chose to remain optimistic by keeping a positive attitude and persevering, especially when things seem to be too hard or not fair. You could have easily decided to have a bad attitude and honestly, no one would have blamed you, but you didn't. You realized what had to be done and chose a positive mindset to work hard and keep going. Leadership, trustworthiness, and strength are inside each of you. As Ralph Waldo Emerson once stated, do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is not a path and leave a trail. You have definitely left a trail for others to follow and provided a source of strength for future students. Many of you have realized your own capabilities, capabilities as you have taken advantage of the opportunities, overcame struggles, and triumphed through courage and hard work. It has been my absolute pleasure to serve as your principal the past four years. Each of you have impacted my life in a positive and long-lasting way, and I will always value our relationship. It is up to you moving forward. Life is good and it is what you choose to make of it. The staff of Cahulla Creek High School wishes you the best, and we look forward to hearing great things about you in the future. Thank you.
good evening, fellow graduates, teachers, and parents. From the moment I found out I was salutatorian, I was certainly shocked and excited. However, that excitement changed to fear as I remembered I had to write a speech. I struggled and I stressed, but through it all, I had a people encouraging me to try my best and write from my heart. So here I stand. I would like to begin by thanking everyone here today. Thank you families and friends for coming today and showing your support for your loved ones. Thank you teachers and faculty for never giving up on us, even when we seem like lost causes. I would like to give some appreciation to Mr. Milliken. Although I would always win in his class, he always saw my potential and never failed to support me. I will forever miss you calling me a fool. Most importantly, I want to thank my parents. Gracias por todo lo que han sobrecado por mí. Todo lo que tengo y tener sea gracias a ustedes. Te quiero. Entering high school, my only goal was to be in the front row at graduation. Mainly so my parents wouldn't struggle to find me, but I had a lot of determination. Four years ago, we walked into Cahola Creek wanting high school to be over with, and now we are here together waiting to receive our diplomas. We have faced constant battles such as procrastinating to do the most of our assignments, oversleeping, undersleeping, complaining to the max, drama, and so much more throughout high school. However, as cliche as it sounds, it was all worth it in the end. As many will believe high school is only about doing homework and passing grades, I'm here to say it's much more than that. High school is about describing new interests, creating dreams, and interacting with so many people. Many of us discovered our passions that we pursue in college. We went to all the sport events and cheered on our friends. We've gone to the dances where we either dance and turn night away or just sit and watch. As we may have different stories, we all come together to share one. Class of 2020 is surely a surprising one. Not only are we the first class of new decade, we are graduating during pandemic. I'm extremely grateful for each one of you for entering my life and making me the person that I am. Dr. Seuss once said, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can see yourself in any direction you choose. As our high school chapter is ending, our new chapter of our lives is beginning not for the bad, but for the better. I cannot wait what the future has in store for all of us in this new adventure. Class of 2020, we are strong and capable of anything. As we get ready to make our own, our own decisions in this world, never forget where we started. I think we can all agree. Once a cult, forever a cult. Thank you. sick of hearing about these difficult times and now more than ever, but I really just feel like it was necessary to address the elephant in the room. I mean, come on, how weird is this? Only a third of us are here. Those of us that are here haven't been together in three months. We're on the football field. We're six feet apart. I mean, nothing about this is the way we envisioned graduating, unless you're like a psychic or something. It's just feels a little awkward. And it makes sense that it's awkward because our high school experiences were brought to an abrupt end three months ago. I can't speak for everyone, but I know that I felt a little angry during that period. I felt cheated out of my high school experience and I didn't know who to blame. Thankfully, I had a lot of time to think during those three months and I was able to reconcile some of that bitterness and find a little bit of light in a really dark period of history. Now maybe y'all have moved on or maybe you feel like nothing could make you feel better about this but I just wanted to share what helped me. The class of 2020 has always been told that we are special. And I think the qualities that make us special have really come to light in the past three months. The majority of us who work, work in retail or fast food, jobs that are essential. Every morning we would suit up in masks and gloves like surgeons and go out and expose ourselves to a deadly disease. We would go out every morning and risk our lives for minimum wage because our communities needed us. They relied on us for food and clothing. Let that sink in. It might seem like I'm being a little dramatic about it, but if you think I'm being dramatic, I think that just shows how brave this class truly is. We risk our lives for less than $10 an hour 
and don't even think it's a big deal. That's incredible, and that's something to be proud of. On top of that, some of you went above and beyond in sacrifice and courage. You knew the risks of going out to volunteer or voice your opinion in a time like this, but you decided that your cause was more important than your health or safety. That is incredible, and that is another thing to be proud of. The world is in a crazy place right now, but the class of 2020 decided not to let that get us down. And I know even when the world gets back to normal, we won't go back to normal because we have learned too much about life and too much about what's really important to ever go back to the way we were before. What we have learned in the past three months will carry us for the rest of our lives. And I personally can't wait to see where it takes us. Thank you. It is my honor and pleasure to announce that the students seated before you have met all of the local and state requirements necessary to receive their high school diplomas. I am honored to present to you the Cahulla Creek High School graduating class of 2020. While this is definitely a celebration of this graduating class of 2020, we ask that you show respect and courtesy so that all graduates and families of graduates may hear their student's name being called. Class of 2020 valedictorian, Margaret Elizabeth Gulledge. Your salutatorian, Wendy Nayeli Cabrera. Austin Hernandez. Garrett Nathaniel Hughes. Casey Lena Queen. Jake Chadwick Young. Axel Banda. <laughs> Kara Malin Barrett. <laughs> Courtney McKay Bergen. Jordan Faith W. Kittle. <laughs> Catherine Ann Renee Mayfield. <laughs> Grace Kelly Mullis. Betsy Rindon. <laughs> Lily.
Lillian Hensley Sims. Woo! Yeah! Ivania Monique Trevino. Brian Aguero. <laughs> Rachel Lynn Alexander. <laughs> Caitlin Jade Ash. <laughs> Destiny Jade Beck. Woo! Ethan Oz Bartenfeld Burse. Yeah! Yeah! Xander Ryan Bartenfeld Burse. Kaylee Yvonne Cannon. <laughs> Seth Landon Klein. Luke Bryson Coker. Jasmine Marina Calendris. <laughs> Kelby Taylor Collins. <laughs> William Andrew Crump. Megan Riley Davis. Woo! Dylan Thomas Irwin. Lily Catherine Ferguson. Giovanni Martin Galvan Sandoval. <laughs> Spencer Carlin Hemantree. <laughs> Jeremiah Mitchell Harper. Connor Blake Haynes. Luke Chase Hefner. Miriam Natividad Hernandez Pena. Ivy Page Hewitt. Montana Free Holt. Adam 
Chase Johnson. Lydia Diana Jones. Mercedes Nicole Kennedy. Marcos Lara. Jennifer Vanessa Lopez Garcia. Blaine M. S. Mallet. Classic. It's great. Adam Alexander Mingle. Brittany Alexis Moody. Vanessa Morales. Samuel Morales Roblero. Giovanni Moses Nunez. <laughs> Christian Pacheco. <laughs> Patton Bryce Pickard. Siklali Regalado. <laughs> Josue Abraham Reves. <laughs> Nayeli Rios. Jesus Chauvin Soto. <laughs> Cheyenne Marie Spurlock. Nia Alize Nicole Story. <laughs> Nicholas Dion Taylor. Brennan Parker Carter Thomason. <laughs> Jose Luis Torres. <laughs> oh. 
Aaliyah McKenna Turner. Alexander Zamudio Ubas. Chastity Vargas. Camarino Vasquez, Jr. Natika yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Nicole Walnoha. Clayton Scott Waters. <laughs> Prince Romeo Dream Watson. Isaac Harrison Wiley. Sarah Rose Williams. Brady Elijah Woods. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your class of 2020. Graduates of Cahola Creek High School, will you please stand? As we end our time together as Colts, it also marks the beginning of a whole new adventure for each of you. Starting now, you will all move forward with your individual journeys. However, regardless of where your journey takes you, you will always be able to trace back to this special moment we have all shared together. Please know wherever you go in life that you will always be a cult and your alma mater will always be your home. As a symbolic gesture of your completion of high school and your final task as a Cahulla Creek High School student, graduates, you may now turn your tassels Again, it is our honor to present the Cahulla Creek High School Class of 2020. and guests thank you again for coming tonight we do ask that you please remain in your seats until all graduates have recessed out of the stadium at which time we will exit in an orderly fashion thank you and congratulations graduates <laughs>
made now an exit through either uh, side of the stadium. We have an exit here, and we have the exit that you came in. And uh, our graduates are going up to get their, their diplomas, and then they're going to go ahead and get in their cars and, and exit our campus. And uh, we ask that uh, you guys have a great night. And again, thank you for coming out. Oh, thank you.